guys! So I thought today I would do a bit of a chatty get ready with me video. So to start, I am sitting on the floor in my bedroom. There is like one spot in my room in front of my mirror that happens to have the best lighting. So this is actually where I normally do my makeup so I thought I would film it here. Also, the lighting in my room in the mornings, if it's not a really, really sunny day, it just kind of sucks because I just, I don't have a whole lot of nice lights in my bedroom and I normally just have the natural light, but I live in Portland, which means that I get natural, beautiful light for maybe three, four months of the year and the rest of the time it is gray and rainy like it is today. I know it looks like it's getting kind of bright coming in from my windows, but Trust me, it is actually a very gray and wet rainy day. Okay, for any of you who are just thinking, I don't know Gretchen, it doesn't look that wet out those windows. I give you rain. So much rain. So this is kind of the way that I get ready before going for a run because I still need to go for a run which I'm not looking forward to because it's super rainy. I don't mind usually running in the rain. It's just that um, my hair can become very unruly from it because it'll be like wet on the top and dry in the middle and that causes it to get all tangly and not as nice and silky smooth and it's a pain trying to get it back nice and pretty. But, oh well, uh, I wanted to, whoop, talk about a few things that I'm doing. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I am doing Nerd Shopping November this month. So I start with some tea tree oil. I use Art Naturals, it's an LA company. Because tea tree oil is good if you have any like kind of acne spots. And I'm not too bad, but I always just put it on on areas that um, I'm more prone if I feel like maybe little bumps coming um so i'm doing a no shopping november thing which hasn't been too hard it's mostly just me getting emails from shops in the mornings being like upcoming for the holidays and i can't participate in any of that um i also really like the ordinary products so i have a couple from them and i will tell you which ones in the description below but I put just a couple of drops on my hand from each one and kind of rub. yeah so it's not going bad um, at all and I'm not really like miss feeling like I'm missing out on not being able to buy anything so much but been kind of un uneventful to be fair i am still buying essentials like groceries so the whole still able to buy essential things that's kind of been a bit of a gray zone for me because now i have to define what is and is not an essential so i then put on the glossier primer moisturizer i put this on even if i'm not really going to be putting on a bunch of makeup just because it makes my skin feel very lovely and I like it. It doesn't really have a scent or anything though, um, which I also like. You can tell I've been using it quite a lot. I've had it for a couple months, I think. So it's been a little uneventful. <sighs> what else? I'm upcoming. I finished my 100 day sober project so I have a blog post about my experience doing that but now I've been able to drink for about a week so I think I'm gonna do another post when I officially hit a week of being able to drink for a little over a week where I will talk about what it's been like reintroducing alcohol into my system because it has been a little different than I thought it was going to be. I suppose 100 days is a long enough period of time for your body to just be like, I don't know what this is anymore. So I'll have a blog post about that. I also, due to a very special request from my friend, will be doing a blog post and probably a video to go along with it, all about organizing yourself specifically for Thanksgiving cooking. 
kind of how to prep, how to prep your shopping, what type of things you should start cook the night before, what type of things are good to cook better in the morning, in the afternoon, um, how to kind of like prep it. Oh, I didn't show you what I'm putting on. So right now, I'm putting on my normal moisturizer. Um, I need to come up with a better routine because I feel like I'm wearing just so much moisturizer all the time and I don't even really have that dry skin sometimes, but I use the Yes To Soothing Sensitive Skin Daily Calming Moisturizer and I like it because it is both cruelty free and the containers themselves are recyclable. And I also use a little bit of rosehip oil. I use the Art Naturals again, just like I use with the tea tree oil. I use the Pacifica CC cream. I really like it. Uh, Pacifica is a Portland local brand and again it is cruelty free and all of their containers are recyclable just like the Yes 2. So I just pump a little bit into my hand and kind of dab and rub it in. coming up. I kind of want to talk a little bit about mental health for a little, yeah. I just kind of want to take a second to talk a little bit about mental health because I've been thinking a lot about it lately, particularly. I do a lot of talking about mental health on my actual blog and usually in relation to like my personal relationship with mental health, although I haven't gone in to too much detail. I want to talk about it now just because I've been in a little bit of a bummer mood this past 24 hours. It's not very long, but just a lot of things I've been thinking about. I kind of had like one day there was a little bit of a letdown and I kind of let myself spiral into feeling all really upset about things that didn't really matter, things that happened so long ago that there's really no reason to be upset about about them. But I was thinking that it would be nice to maybe start going to therapy again. So I was talking to my coworker because he's seen a therapist and he really likes, really likes it and is talking about just how beneficial it can be because you just get to like talk through things and it's really nice to just be able to have somebody completely objective somebody who's separate from anything that's going on in your life who is listening and being able to like give you different ways to think about something or think around something so it's it could be a really beneficial thing even if you're not going through anything super heavy or you know you don't have to have anything unwell about you to benefit from going and seeing a therapist. I don't currently have one that I really like. I have a weird history with therapy where I've been that person who sits in a room with a therapist wasting everybody's time and money just refusing to talk about anything. And I went to quite a few therapists um, doing that until I found somebody who I actually clicked with and I really liked. Yeah, so I had somebody who I really liked talking to back when I was in college and I thought it was very, very beneficial for dealing with stress and other things in my life. But now I don't live in that same town anymore and I've tried a couple therapists here. Uh, I found somebody who was okay, who I did okay with for a while, but not, not really quite what I was wanting and it can just feel so hard and difficult to find somebody who you click with. There's plenty of lovely people who I'm sure are just like fantastic therapists but you can be a fantastic therapist and still just have people who you don't really click with so um, I'm thinking it might be beneficial to try to find somebody again. Uh, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed at that because I still that person who is very very pro therapy but will absolutely waste everybody's time and not talk to somebody if I don't feel 100% like comfortable around them which makes it difficult for me to 
find a therapist who can actually do their job with me. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about that a lot, a lot lately. Maybe it's also because it's just getting like, the weather's turning and the holidays are coming up, which I love, I love the holidays coming up. I don't know why that would make me sad. Well, maybe it's just like a little blip fluke that I'm a little sad at the moment. Yeah, absolutely no reason to be. In fact, I have some really exciting things happening right now. I posted a blog post this week all on kind of dating and being single during the holiday season, uh, kind of all on the idea, exploring the idea of cuffing, cuffing season. I just discovered what cuffing season was because apparently I was living under a rock and I just had never heard that term before, but it's when, you know, chronically single people try to buddy up into relationships during the colder months when it's super cozy inside. Yeah, so I wrote about that and kind of my own uh, experiences with dating during the holiday season and kind of some of my own personal tips for having a fantastic holiday when you are single, which I technically am. I have, however, uh, just started kind of putting myself out on the dating scene again. Okay, so this is essentially as ready as I generally get before going for rent because I don't want to exercise with a bunch of makeup on my face, but I also kind of want to put a little bit of stuff on to protect it, thus the CC cream, and I always just kind of feel like it's nice to have all this other stuff on beforehand as well. Also, I'm one of those people that if I don't have a routine in the morning and do all this, I will forget to do it, and I'll be like halfway through the day, and I'll be like, I never moisturize. No wonder things aren't right. Whew. Whoa. Okay, my hair is also a mess, but because, again, I'm gonna go running, I'm not really going to bother to do anything with it because it's just gonna end up in a ponytail and messy and then I'll have to blow dry it and style it and hope that it's not gross. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna change out of my Christmas pajamas and go for a run. Okay, so... Real quick before I go out for my run, I want to talk a little bit about my running outfit for the day. Now that I'm all gotten ready for it, I wear a little Nike. You can see from my little swoosh. So this is just like a very standard uh, Nike running top. All the clothes that I'm wearing today are from last year. So this is a uh, last year's colorway. I haven't checked whether or not they still have it but I can check and put it in the description below if I do see it. I like that it has these little tiny reflective things because I don't wear enough gear with reflective pieces on it, probably, because I do a lot of running in the dark this time of year, and I just, I need to be better at making sure I'm being seen. But I'm wearing a purple standard running top, and I have like matching purple running shorts. I prefer to run in shorts, over leggings like mm, oh man 99 all, all the time it has to be hella cold for me to not wear shorts I also I run in the Nike fly knit free and you can tell that these shoes are kind of in their last little like uh, uh, they I have run through the tread I really need to replace them I have no excuse because I could just go out to the Nike employee store or we have like a Nike, Nike factory store or they're doing like flash sales right now. So I really have no excuse for not replacing my shoes on time outside of the fact that I'm just a little lazy and I tend to be like, it's still good, it's still good. It's not still good. I have holes in these. Um, they did last, they lasted like a decent amount of time though, but I go through shoes a little faster because I run a lot of miles. So the more miles you're putting on, the faster you'll go through your shoes. I really like these ones because they have a slightly wider toe box and uh, the fly knit tends to dry a lot faster in the rain than other uh, shoe fabrics. And it's also just really comfortable for me. I need something with less Hmm. P cushion? I need something with less cushion. Uh, sometimes if the shoe has too much cushion, it really hurts my foot. 
even though it's supposed to be more comfortable. If you are just getting into running or if you've never had your gait analyzed, I really recommend going to a running store and having that done because knowing how you run and what type of shoe works best for you can help prevent you from exasperating issues or causing yourself to be injured. If you're super loyal to a brand like Nike or Adidas or uh, Reebok, Brooks, there's so many, there are so many brands, so um, I can't list them all. But if you're loyal to a particular brand, they usually have a wide enough variety of shoes to be able to find a particular shoe in that brand that would work with the way that you run or the type of support that your foot needs. So do the research so you don't get hurt. Yeah, that's my running outfit. So I am completely ready now for the day to go out running and Thank you for chatting and getting ready with me. Bye!